Hi, this is Raven Blair Davis, and I've teamed up with Michael Sinoff's HardToFindSeminars.com. You are responsible for opening the world's, I believe, first store selling chocolate chip cookies. What inspired you to start Famous Amos Cookies? Well, first of all, I wanted to do something that I really love doing, and I've loved chocolate chip cookies since I was 12 years old. I've loved baking them since 1970. So I had been an agent and a personal manager in show business for a combination of about 14 years and got tired of doing that and wanted to do something else and didn't know what it was. But one evening, the latter part of 1974, I was having dinner with a friend. Her name was B.J. Gilmore, and she had been Quincy Jones' secretary. And we were good friends. My office was next to Quincy's at A&M Records. And somehow the conversation got around the cookies, and she said, you know what, you and I, should open a store selling chocolate chip cookies together. And then she immediately followed that with, I've got a friend that I can get to put up the money. So even when she said that, she had my full attention. And it was at that moment that I made the commitment, that I made the decision to open one store selling chocolate chip cookies. BJ never found her friend, but I found mine. And Helen Reddy and Marvin Gaye and Marty Mogul. And in five months, I was selling cookies because I was motivated, I was inspired, I was excited, I was enthusiastic. All of those things create wonderful results, and I was selling cookies. Well, you know, I caught what you said at first. You said you made the decision, and it all starts there, doesn't it? It does, and I think that even more powerful than making the decision, what comes as a package deal is making the commitment. Commitment is I will. It's not I hope or I guess or maybe or I'll try. No, when you commit to do something, you say it. I will do this regardless. And once you have that commitment in hand, nothing can stop you. I know starting out, there had to be a lot of challenges that you faced. So can you share with us how you got past any of the particular challenges that you found yourself facing? Every day was a challenge because I had never opened a retail store before. So for me, it was all a challenge, but I'll give you another definition of challenge. Challenge is just an opportunity for growth. When you confront what it is that is challenging you, you will go through it. And usually it's just getting past the fear. There is a friend who sends inspirational messages every day, and the message that I got today is so powerful. Can you share it? Yes, it was by, actually, Eleanor Roosevelt. This said, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience by which you really stop to look fear in the face. The thing that stops most people is fear. They fear that they're not good enough. They fear that they don't know what they're doing. They fear that they can't do stuff. It's just one fear after another. When you confront that which you fear the most, you can't help but succeed because you do gain strength, courage, and confidence. But there's a great thing about fear also. The word actually says false evidence appearing real. What you fear doesn't exist, and if it does exist, it only exists in your mind, not in someone else's mind. So when you can grow beyond your fear, and know that you can do anything that you set your mind to, regardless of your lifestyle, regardless of your education, regardless of your experience. But you are capable of doing whatever you think of. Because if you couldn't do it, you never would have thought of it. Because everything starts with a thought. And thank God for me that I didn't totally understand that at the time. But I've always been a relatively positive person. And I understood that I could open one store selling chocolate chip cookies. I had been baking cookies for five years, clearly. I knew how to make them, but I didn't know how to have a retail store. But it was just one thing after another. It's common sense. If you think about what you want to do, the answers will come. You know, if you start figuring it out, the answers will come. You can't sit back and say, well, I don't know how to do this. And then there's the thing, if people start calling everybody, asking them, I get so many people ask me how to do stuff. I don't know. I mean, I didn't know how to open a retail store, but I figured it out. I am a high school dropout. So most of y'all listening have more education than I do. So whatever it is that you want to do, you have to start. You have to just go do it. And don't let the economy bother you. Don't let anything stop you. Be positive regardless and move forward with your idea. That's the key, man. That's all I've done. That's all I continue to do. 
any business, any idea that you come up with, how will it get done if you don't do it? Are you going to wait for somebody else to do it? Are you going to wait for your husband, your wife, your mother, your friends? Are you going to wait for somebody to tell you when is the best time to do it? Are you going to look at your astrological chart and see when is it perfect? No. The best time to do anything is when you get the idea. That is the only time. When you get the idea, that's the time to do it. See, here's the thing people don't understand. Ideas do not come to you exclusively. Ideas are just permeating the universe. When you tune in to an idea, you're not the only one. More than one person can tune in to the ideas in the universe. So if you don't respond to them, someone else will. And then what will happen later when that idea becomes a reality in someone else's life? You will say, that person stole my idea. You can't own ideas. If you don't respond to them, then someone else will. So that's why it's important to do it when you get the idea, because you're just one of maybe millions that got the same idea. So you come in the world buff naked, you're going to leave buff naked. You will take nothing with you. You've never seen a U-Haul following a hearse. So the idea is to use yourself up while you are here. You know, don't be saving stuff because you're going to die and leave it. So you've got tons of stuff saved in self-storage places. And they die and there it is. So the idea is do it now. Don't wait. Do it now. Best time in the world to do anything is right now. And you got to rely on some spiritual also. Because, you know, the reality is ideas come through you and not from you. They come from a much higher source than you. But they are channeled through you. So you are just a channel for ideas. And you want to be an open and clear channel to realize that there is a greater force in the universe than you and that all ideas come from that force. I think it's a great secret to one being successful. But our ego gets in the way and we want to believe that we're doing everything and we can't do anything. The only thing you can do by yourself is fail. So you're going to need a team of people and you're going to need God on your side. And God is always on your side. If you think that God is no longer with you, guess who moves? Yeah, amen. Hi, it's Michael Sinoff with HardToFindSeminars.com. Thanks for watching this video. You know, many of my interviews last 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, sometimes even up to two and a half hours long. They're actual mini seminars, and you've just listened to a short sample of just one of over 117 hours of exciting, hard-hitting, mind-blowing interviews on how to make money in direct mail, advertising, copywriting. I assure you, there is not a resource any Anywhere on the internet or on the planet that comes close to the free information I provide at hardtofindseminars.com. So go right now to hardtofindseminars.com and you'll have free access to 117 hours of audio interviews with typed word for word downloadable transcripts and downloadable MP3 files. Please browse some more of the videos or go right directly to hardtofindseminars.com. Thanks for watching.